hello everyone so today I am going to solve this particular issue that I have in my project so the issue is this if I press right or left basically one side inputs you can see the speed of the uh, skateboarding character is increasing so here I'm not pressing forward I'm only pressing side inputs so without making any push like this the speed of the character increases and that's the problem I am going to solve today so for that let me open my character blueprint and here the move right input is processed inside here so basically what happens is when the character is on the skateboard this is the path it takes place and here comes the input magnitude axis value let me rename it as axis value then here I add a force to the actor's right vector with this amount of a magnitude so this is what this is the force that is responsible for turning the character so here I am using this sim sphere basically a sphere that simulated using a force and my character is following that sphere so that's how I have achieved this kind of natural movement so okay so the reason that it increases speed is when I add this force the character already have a velocity so let me explain it again so here just le let's assume this is the character from top side and here this is the main velocity that the character already have and when I want to turn I add another force into this way so based on the result of this force and also with the current velocity I get a new velocity which would be larger than this previous velocity I had so that's why the speed keep increasing so what i need to do is in order to cancel out this increase of speed that i get as a result of adding this turning force i can add another force that reduce the speed in the forward direction so let's add add a force and so this should be in the direction of forward get forward vector no, sorry get actor forward vector and then we need to multiply this by this value well not this value this should be negative because we need to cancel out the force or the velocity that is increased by this force and also in making this 100 applying this 100% will not work so I would have to have some kind of a percentage here so let's try something like 0.2 and see what happens so to test this what i can do is here oh, i need to add the force to the simulation sphere i can print let's print the velocity of the semisphere get velocity get physics linear velocity and then I get the vector length and print it here so if we have a good value here 
a good multiplier here then when I press side inputs without pressing forward we should have somewhat the same or slightly reducing speed so here I'm pressing right as you can see well I can only test this in a flat surface it keep increasing so velocity keeps increasing so 0.2 is not enough oh hold on here actually I need to consider the absolute value because regardless of I am moving to right or left I am giving a right input or left input I should be decreasing the value okay um, where is the starting point here let me remove that and start from a flat surface like this so it's easier for me to test press left okay it's increasing as you can see the speed is increasing so let's try point one. Oh, point one. Just no, nope. it still increases. Well, actually, one thing I can do is instead of just having this multiplier like this, we can change the force we add based on the current velocity of the actor so that means I can cut this part from here and move it here then I can get the velocity like this and then here I can add another pin then add this as a multiplier now maybe instead of having such a large value I'll have something like thousand so this should give us better results I think I need to reconnect this and print the velocity okay see now when i press left right i'm pressing right now so it does not increase the speed if i press left similarly it stays in the somewhat same velocity only if i press forward it increases the velocity right or left does not have any impact on the total velocity of the character Right, that's actually all I wanted to resolve in this episode. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And also I'll update this free playable demo that I have already released. But I, I will update this playable demo also with this new update I did just now right now and thanks for watching also I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel once you become a member in the patron page so feel free to check it out I'll leave